Hey, what's up guys? My name is Mora and welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be another day, another freaking Bitmain altcoin miner. This is one that was leaked a few weeks ago and I thought it was completely BS, completely fake, no way in heck. Yeah, here we are. All right, Bitmain confirmed it today. It's going to be for Monero. It's going to be for XMR. It's going to be the Antminer X5, right? So super, super weird. Definitely not one I would have pegged, but here we are, right? So we have the specs. We're going to break it down. We're going to look at profitability. We're going to compare it to the CPUs and kind of make predictions on where we think the price is going to be based off of that, right? So we're going to at least have something to compare to so we can see if it's a good deal or not when the price does officially get unveiled, right? So if that sounds good, guys, stay tuned, all right? So let's get to it. So... Again, it did leak a few weeks ago, so here's a little shameless self-plug for my Twitter. It's at MiningStacker. If you guys are interested, I do post a lot of news, right? That's mainly what I do. Go through news feeds and repost, 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 just to keep people informed. Do follow a lot of accounts. That's how I get a lot of the news. Um, so if you're interested or use it for news, a little shameless self-plug there. But anyways, honestly, I thought it was going to be full of crap, right? They had one of their little fake PR releases, which... You could pay one of these companies and they put out these press releases and they had put one out. I had seen it as soon as it came out. So I was one of the first to post about it. I'm just putting on that it was probably full of crap, right? Here's the actual press release. This is the, the website, the EIN press wire. And you can see here, they even had the name of it, right? right? They actually had the X5, so they did leak it. It was accurate. This was again on August 12th. So about almost exactly two weeks ago, right? They did talk about that, and they did double down on the L9, right? They did one a while back also about the L9. So does that give more credence to the L9 rumor? Potentially, right? Turns out they were right with this one. They were the only source talking about it. Usually Bitmain is pretty quiet with their secrets, so it was kind of weird that they came out. But anyways, yeah, they were right, right? So now, come two weeks later, this is the tweet from this morning. Right, so this is now August 27th. It's the X5, right? Very, very interesting because again, it is for Monero. It's for XMR, which is anti ASIC, right? So it's very weird that they are doing this unless they have some kind of a guarantee that they're not going to fork. But most likely, what's going to happen is they are going to fork away from it, right? Their stance is they are ASIC resistant, they are anti-ASICs, they are big on CPU mining, right, for that decentralization factor. So most likely, keep in mind that even if you are still considering this, it is very, very likely, very possible, let's say better, that they will fork again, right, to get rid of the ASICs. Will they or won't they? We won't know, but just keep that in the back of your head if you even remotely consider this guy, right? Um, so let's look at the stats real quick. So it's 212,000 hashes a second. This is interesting. It's 1,350 watts, right? So which is kind of unusual because, again, typically their smaller miners are in the 2,000 range, anywhere from like 2,000 to 2,300. So this is a unusual form factor, but, again, it's probably because it's the chips that are in it, right? Uh, so the limitations there. So this thing is coming out soon. Right, it's sales are gonna start on September 4th. They're gonna do the stupid guess the price thing for some coupons, and it's gonna start shipping September 10th. Right, one interesting to note that they did put on the bottom, and this is what makes it sound like they already even also know that it's most likely gonna get forked off. Is it, it says support risk V, risk five available for mining multiple cryptocurrencies. Right, so that's gonna be part of the promotion effort. Because again, even they know, even they're already probably guessing or assuming that they're probably going to get forked off, right? So again, super weird choice, right? Um, we will talk about towards the end as to why they may have done this. And it's probably just because they had the supply. They had the chips there. We'll talk about that here at the end here. Um, but again, super unusual release. Super weird. Thought it was full of BS when that press release came out because it was like, no way. Why would they do that? We know... Monero stance on A6, but yet again, here we are, right? So, but again, keep in mind that this may be able to mine other cryptos, other, not necessarily algorithms, but other projects, right? That are on that same algorithm. So 
keep that in mind. There will be future use. I'm sure they're gonna make use of it just because they know that most likely Monero will fork off, right? So now let's compare it to CPUs, right? Which is typically what they use to mine XMR. So let's compare it so we can kind of see ballpark what needs to be the price point for it to be considered a good deal, right? So we're gonna compare it against two CPUs, right? We're gonna be, one's gonna be kind of the latest and greatest for consumer grade. This is not gonna be for epics or server things. This is gonna be for consumer grade stuff. So we're gonna do the 7950X and then we'll do it with the 3900X, right? Which is the more budget option that a lot of you guys use for CPU mining. So let's compare those two. So we'll start off with the 7950X. We can see here from Monero, it is one CPU. We'll do about 17,887 hashes a second at 131 watts, right? Giving you about 136 hash per watt, right? So let's compare. How many 7950Xs would you need to equal one X5, right? So if we break out our calculator, the X5 is coming in at 212,000 hashes per second. Now let's divide it by the 7950X, right? Which is 17,887. It's going to be at about 11.8. So let's easy math. Let's run it up to 12. So you're going to need about 12 7950Xs to equal just one, one X5, right? So the issue here is that the 7950Xs, each CPU is about, give or take about 500 bucks, right? So at that point, you're looking at about $6,000, right? Which is pretty, pretty high up there, right? Um, and as far as efficiency goes, the X5 is actually more efficient than the 7950X, right? If we break it down, comes out, the X5 comes out to about 157 hashes per second to watt, right? Versus the 136 here for the 7950X. So it's more efficient and you're getting the density factor, right? Is it extremely more efficient? It's about 14, 15%. So is that a ton? No, but it is more efficient than the latest and greatest on the consumer grade side, right? So pretty interesting there, pretty cool there. But again, the biggest factor here is just the price, right? You're gonna need 6K for just the CPUs. That's not, you gotta factor in the motherboards, your power supplies, et cetera, et cetera, to get it going, right? So factor that in as well. Now a more realistic mining option is gonna be with the 3900X, right? Why? Because it's a lot cheaper, right? It's more budget friendly, especially if you find really good deals, right? But typically on eBay, the going price is give or take about 200 bucks, right? So keep that in mind. So now let's do the same calculation, but with this guy, right? So again, we know that the other, the X5 is 212,000. We're gonna divide it by 12,600. So we're gonna need about 17. So it comes to 16.8, so we'll run it up to 17. So again, each one's about 200 bucks, so about $3,400, right? But again, factor in, they're gonna need 17 motherboards, all the other components, right? So factor those things as well. But um, again, sometimes you are able to find these things super cheap for people who don't know what they have, you can find them locally, I've seen people pick them up for like 50 bucks, right? So it just kind of depends on your area, depends on your luck and how many you can get, right? But typically on eBay, for the people who know what they have, they go for about 180 to $200, right? Um, so the efficiency is a little bit different here though, right? So again, the X5 is 157 hash per watt versus 114, right? So the difference is a little more significant there. But again, the main advantage here, of course, is going to be just the density aspect, right? So now we know that if it comes in under 3K, it's a relatively good deal, right? If we do a straight comparison with Monero, right? So what will the price point be? Who really knows, right? Realistically, to really be considered, for me at least, definitely under 2K. Would I even consider at the price? For me personally, no. Reason being the main thing is just the fact that it is extremely, extremely likely that Monero will fork to get rid of this ASIC, right? So just, is that guaranteed? No. Is it likely though, because of the way their setup is, their community is? Yes. Okay, so just please, please factor that in. It's good to look at the profitability, to look at the numbers, but just with this case specifically, it is extremely likely that that will happen, right? But yes, keep in mind though, you will be able to hopefully mine other cryptos with it. Right, and that's gonna be the main selling point with this guy, right? Because they pretty much already know that most likely that'll happen. Now, how fast it'll happen, 
That's another thing, right? Maybe it takes a good while. Maybe they do it quick. Who knows? We don't really know. For that reason alone, too much risk, right? Especially considering there's so many other good deals on other miners right now, right? It's one thing if we're in the bull market and everything else is 20K, then I guess depending on the price point, right? But currently in this climate, considering where we're at and how easy it is to get anything, everything's in stock, crazy cheap prices, not very appealing, right? Even if this thing is crazy low, it'd have to be like a thousand bucks, which is not gonna happen, right? So now let's look at the actual profitability currently with Monero, right? So currently we go on hashrate.no, this is at a 10 cent kilowatt hour. We plug it into the calculator, the 212,000 hashes per second at 1,350 watts. Your total revenue is gonna be $6.47. Your power cost will be 324, again, at a 10 cent kilowatt hour, so you can adjust that as needed for a total profit of about $3.23 currently. Keep in mind though, what's gonna happen when these things go up? The hash rate's gonna go up, the difficulty's gonna go up, yield is gonna go down, right? Are they gonna produce a million of these? Highly doubt it, right? We'll see how many they do, we'll see how impactful it is to the hash rate, but just factor these things in. Again, the, the main thing for me, just a ton, a ton of risk. Ton, a ton of risk, specifically if you want XMR, if you're in it because of Monero, right? So just gonna harp on that. So let's talk about why they most likely came out with this, right? And to me, it was kind of weird. So I was like, ah, let me Google some stuff. Found some pretty interesting stuff, right? So it turns out Bitmain has actually been in like these alternative chip game for quite a while, right? So they do have a subsidiary called Softco, S-O-P-H Go. And they do have a whole like HPC section, right? Which does use these chips. So if you do just a simple search, Bitmain R-I-S-C-V, which is for the five, you could find plenty of articles, right? And you could actually find an article on their website. I was kind of confused. I was like, is there actually another Bitmain? Maybe the name's different. It's our Bitmain, right? You can see here, there's an article going as far back as like 2018 that they had this, that they were at this summit promoting this specific chip. And again, this is an article from their website. This is the bitmain.com. Yes, that Bitmain. And you can see here the subsidiary company, which is, you can see the website, sophon.ai. See here, Sophon Beijing is a subsidiary of Bitmain focusing on the development of AI chips. So pretty interesting. Something I had no idea about, right? So you can go here, you can look at it, and they actually do have a ton of stuff. I, this is completely new to me, right? Is it super interesting? Yes. Is it something I'm gonna like deep dive into? No. <laughs> right? I have enough rabbit holes already, but it's just, it's interesting, right? I had no idea this company even existed. And this is most likely where the chips came from, right? They were probably producing one of these things. Right here you can see the servers. This is probably why, why their file coin setup also came to light, right? They already had the existing hardware for it. So why not? Probably same situation here. They were able to repurpose some of the chips, which they produce these specific chips. You go through here, you look at what they're doing, and you can see that they're there, right? So again, they just repurpose them. Is this something they're gonna pursue heavily? Is this, who knows, right? Again, they have been here. It's been years now, right? That article's from 2018. Again, if you guys wanna go into that rabbit hole, you can go through here interesting right just something i didn't know about completely new to me it'll be interesting to see if they pursue this more heavily right with all the ai hype because again they were talking about ai things back in 2018 right and they are on the forefront of chips right are they able to repurpose some of them are they able to do development re who knows right we'll see where that goes but um it's most likely where the chips came from um so overall, guys, super weird release, right? Profitability is so-so, about $3.23 profit, six and change revenue. It's just weird, right? It's just the fact that it's extremely likely for them to fork, right? Could they have come to some agreement? Who knows? We'll see. We'll see what the community reacts. But again, my guess is that they are going to fork. They don't want these ASICs, most likely, 
right? So again, just keep that in mind. If you go on, mind the ASIC or ASIC minor value, you see the profitability, keep that in mind, right? We're gonna see what the price looks like when it comes out. Again, realistically, it should be under 2K, but they've been overshooting recently, so don't be surprised to see 3K plus, right? Um, but at any rate, for me, too much risk, right? Just the fact that they're not gonna be on there, right? They're most likely gonna fork, so a lot of risk considering there's so many other options right now. You literally have a ton of options where we're at in this market, everything's in stock, everything's accessible, everything's available right if this came out in the bull market and freaking s19j's are 15k and this thing came out of 3k then yes it would be a lot more appealing but that's not the case that's not the climate we're in but we'll see we'll see what this price looks like very curious to see let me know your guys' thoughts is this something you're interested in would you roll the dice would you roll the dice like what would be your threshold what would be your price point would it have to be under like 1500 for you to buy? Would you not buy it at all? Like again, even for me, even like at a thousand bucks, too much risk, I'd rather buy a freaking S19, right? So just something to think about, just keeping you guys in the loop on this weird, weird ass release. But the bigger news for me is like, kind of gives a little more credence to this stupid Viperatech leak. It's like, is the L9 on the horizon? Are we gonna hear about it soon? Who knows, right? But interesting stuff. I'll keep you guys updated once we get that price point, which should be pretty soon, right? They're gonna do the stupid guess the price thing. Most likely, this is when the price will get released. It might be the day after, it might be September 1st, but most likely September 2nd. And the sales officially start September 4th, right? It'll be interesting to see. We'll see what this price point is. If it's something stupid, are they gonna do like a 10K price point or should it be more realistic, somewhere between two and 3K, right? All right, guys. Well, again, let me know in the comments. Please comment, like, and subscribe, guys. Thank you for watching, and I am out.